Ah. Hey everybody, DK Gilles in here, bringing you guys a really quick little review of this Sakura figure that I just got. I got this on eBay. This is a very, uh, kind of old prize figure of Sakura Ogami. It was from the Dying Rampa anime. I did not get the box with this. I got this used on eBay. And, uh, yeah, I got it for a pretty good deal, and I grabbed it because I like Sakura. She's never been my favorite Dying Rampa Trigger Happy Havoc character, but I do like Sakura a lot. She led to a great chapter overall. Uh, she was just a solid character. I loved her relationship with Hina and all that. Just a really solid character, and I saw this figure for a really reasonable price, and I decided to grab it because at the end of the day, I want literally every piece of of media for every piece of merchandise from this franchise that has ever existed ever so I thought why the hell not I like Sakura I will pick this up and do, I will take this opportunity to pick this up and here it is and I'm pretty happy with it it is a very nice figure so uh, yeah let's bring it in here so you can get a look at it this is made by Furyu I believe if you'd like to get this figure I recommend checking on eBay um, because I did see quite a bit on there not uh, I did get this one for a very good price uh, so you'll have to look and make sure you get it for a good price if if you want it, but yeah, you can check eBay, there were quite a few on there, so if you want it, it definitely is still a uh, obtainable item, but yeah, it looks very cool, I mean, it pretty much looks like a perfect representation of Sakura from the anime, and I will say this, I know I am like, I'm probably like the biggest Dying Rampa the anime fan in the world, it's my favorite anime of all time, I think it's fucking awesome, I love it, I watched it like 47 times, I love it so very much, um, and a lot of people like give it shit for some reason, I don't really understand why, uh, but uh, I think they really did a great job on redesigning Sakura. Sakura's face sculpt in uh, in the anime just to make it look a little more natural. So I, I will I will say that might be a controversial opinion, but I will say that. But yeah, like if I bring my Blu-ray over here, yeah, there she is right there. We'll bring we'll let that we'll let that side stay aside. Uh, but yeah, I think they did a really great job. You know, they did her sailor uniform right there. The tie it is a nice rubbery plastic, which is very nice. You have the pocket right there, of course. You have her face very nicely done. Her blue picked out right there. She has her gouge. This is of course her uh, her standard um kind of pose she has in like the uh, the artwork and whatnot, and like the uh, opening and everything. So yeah, very, very cool. She has her bandaged hands, her little bracelets right there. The paintwork is very nicely done. You can see this. I will say, uh, if you look at the base here, there is some paint from the shoes coming off here, but honestly, I, I really couldn't care less. It doesn't, it really doesn't bother me whatsoever. Like, it doesn't, yeah, like, I don't, I really don't think there's anything to get uh, worked up about. It's, it's like completely unnoticeable, so <laughs> whatever. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it looks really good. You have her hair. I love the, the pose of all the hair. It's very dynamic and very cool. All the white hair just flaring off into every little, uh, every section. You have the bandages right there. Just very, very nice. It's just a really nice figure of Sakura in her standard pose. I don't really know what else to say about it. I'll give you guys some comparisons. I'll bring in Junko here so we can have another member of the 78th class of Hope Speak Academy right there. Very, very cool. Um, I think these, the scale looks okay here. I mean, if, if you stood this figure straight up, I bet you'd be a little bit taller than, than, uh, Junko, which is absolutely accurate. So Sakura was, uh, taller than just about every single character. In fact, uh, yeah, I think she was definitely taller than just about every single character. The only one I think maybe is Mondo. Mondo might have been about eye level with her, but I still, I think she was still taller than Mondo. But yeah, I feel like, like, if you look at this figure, if you look at the pose she's in, I feel like if you stood her straight up, like, if you look at, like, the proportion of her leg to Junko's leg, by the way, this is the pop-up parade Junko and Oshima, amazing figure, if you want to see my review, check it out, um, but yeah, you can see, I think, the scale is actually pretty, uh, spot on between these two figures, this looks to be very nice, which is, uh, very good, makes me, uh, very happy, because there's more figures by this, uh, by this, uh, this, uh, Furyu company, and, uh, this line, which I think are actually, like, prize figures, um, that I do want, so the fact that they're, that they're gonna scale with the pop-up parade figures is pretty pretty damn exciting to me, I won't lie to you, but yeah, there you go, two members of the 78th class, I like it, and here he is with my little mo acrylic Makoto figure as well, because why not, why not, and here she also is with my bootleg Emma Nendoroid from the Promised Neverland, why, I don't know, this is the scale, <laughs> maybe I'll help someone, so yeah, I like this figure. Uh, for the price I got this figure at, I'm very satisfied. It's a very nice figure. Uh, I like Sakura. Once again, Sakura's never been my favorite Trigger Happy Havoc character, but I do like her. And uh, yeah, this is a solid figure. I definitely like it. If, you, if you're looking at it and you want it, check eBay. Look for a good price. And uh, yeah, scoop it up. It's pretty good. Quality's good. Paint's good. Overall, 
Can't complain, so there you have it. Uh, I'll hit this figure. I mean, it's not its not like absolutely stealing the show like the Junko or the Chiaki that I reviewed, um, but still very solid. Like, really can't really can't say anything objectively negative about this figure. Um, I don't love the pose she's in. I do realize it's like the standard Sakura pose, but I mean, even like, even though Sakura is the ultimate martial artist, I don't feel like Sakura was, I feel like Sakura was actually one of the lesser, like one of the lesser, like chaotic and anime character she was always very calm so I don't really know if this pose like fits her all that much even though it is like her standard pose that she has in the opening and whatnot so I don't know I think I would have preferred it if the figure was like actually like standing up in a more calm and, and, and collected pose like Sakura tends to be um but uh yeah I still like it I still like it a lot I mean I really once again that's really just a nitpick because at the end of the day this is an official this is the pose she's in in official artwork so yeah uh but that that is it that is uh what I, that is all I will say about this just a really quick little review of this figure because I wanted to show it to you guys, share it with you guys, uh, and yeah, my, it definitely has my recommendation. If you can find it for a good price and you want it, I definitely, yeah, thumbs up. So, there you have it. I'll hit it with an A tier just because that is, uh, I think, a good grade for it, and uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching. Take it, team. Out.